it must be really fun to be on stage performing and doing songs that you've written yourself. Yes. Could you tell us a little about what you're doing right now, working-wise? Um, I'm just working on my own film festival, and it's just about completed. I have one more section of color, but I've been actually... It's very close to getting done, but it's not done yet. Very close to getting done. In fact, I already... I should... I sent out my first copy this morning, even though it's not done. Okay. That's great. I mean, that must be very time-consuming. Are there any time to write songs? Or maybe collaborating with other artists? Yes, I still write songs. Um, but just for recreation, I haven't... I yeah. haven't really wrote many songs for, like you know, a record or anything. Yeah. But I do have some songs I believe in that I think are pretty good that I might share with the band, or at least with Gwen. Okay. And she was asking because she wanted to hear some things, so... Maybe they would end up on the next record. Who knows? Who knows? You never know. I mean, for me personally, I think Staring Problem was probably the strongest and the best track of the new album. I just love that song. Wow, that's a huge compliment. There's I mean, there's great songs on that record. But I mean, thank you. There's so much energy in it, and it's probably the most, the song with the most energy in it, and uh -huh. it's also the song that uh, mostly reminds of the last record and the record prior to that. Wow. Uh huh. So I mean, it, it was a really good song. It's a simple. Well, the lyric. band did, the both band wrote a lot of songs in the other. Yeah, I love, I love every song. But that is definitely one of my favorites. That was a pretty good collaboration. Yeah. We all contributed on that one. Yeah, I remember we, when, we were, when we were in Germany, in Hamburg, Gwen was telling, telling the audience about the, writing that song, and she said, oh, by the way, we wrote this song in my living room one day. <laughs> you did? Yeah, that's how that works. When you write songs, how does it work? You just sit down. Yeah, you just sit down and start writing them, right? Yeah, that's right. I bought a, it helps to have a good recording system. You get stuck in your room. It's, yeah, it's true. You have to share it. Do you want to hear a song I wrote? Yeah, I would love to. Right now? Yeah. Okay, I'll, it's coming up. Okay. It's digitally coming up. Thank you. The song is called If It Wasn't For Dot Dot Dot. Okay. Dot com? Mm-hmm. good thank you it sounded a bit different than the other stuff you've written that I heard uh -huh. and it kind of had a little bit of um, madness and beetle touch in it yeah very madness yes I've worked on this song for a long time and I tried to make it madness but yeah at the same time I wanted it to be my own kind of thing too yeah did you did you write any songs with madness no me no but you would like to I <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, those guys are... How do you write songs? It's madness. They already write songs. So you, you would, yeah, maybe when I come out to your country, you can show me Absolutely. your country. You want, you want to come here? I want to see where the... Um, yes, I do. I want to see where the... Um, the cardigans are from. Yeah, they are from around here. Because it's hard to see your progress sometimes. Yeah. And it can be frustrating. But if, if you, you should get a four-track and... Record practicing with the four track absolutely I mean it's different for you because you have been playing all your life you've been playing since you were like four years old or something well no no not that long but very long so you always have the music in you yeah but, but uh, you should you should um I guess it's never too late it's never too late to start but you should get a recording system could you recommend any good I mean, well, I have one that's called a Roland BS 1880, and it is 
I'm so happy with it. They have, it's like an 18 track digital recorder and it has LCD. Okay. And you can, I mean, it, it is a kind of expensive, it's about $2,000. So it might not be something you could afford right away. It must be amazing to be in a band like your sister to be able to travel all over the world <laughs> with a band. Yeah. It must be kind of crazy. It must be, yeah. So, I mean, but I think, I think you should make music because it's fun, not because yes. of the money. No, I agree. So that is, that's the bottom line, I think. Yeah, that is the bottom line. Well, if your music is good, you know, hopefully people will buy it, and then that's how you make your money. Yeah. And, you know, if your music, you, you it can be good and it can be not commercial, but uh, if you enjoy it, and you should you should do that as well. Absolutely. Even if it's not like uh, you know up to whatever standards, but you'll get better as you practice and practice and absolutely. find your own thing that you like. Yes, absolutely. It's hard to be original though. Yeah. You're always comparing to other bands. That's what I am. Anyway. I've always done. But I. You're not. You're not afraid of exploring new new things in music. You like to develop your music, right? Yeah, I, um, I don't know as far as music. I mean, you don't you don't stick to just one type of music. You mix it all, right? Well, somehow. I don't know. Kind of, I'm kind of narrow, but then other times I have different different songs that I write. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, recently, I like. See, this, this thing's so great, because you can just pull up the song and I can show you. You tell me if it sounds like that last song. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I think still you can hear if it's an Eric Stefani song, I think. Oh, you can? I think. I'm not you have to write a lot of bad songs to get to the good ones. Yes, I I've think. I've written a lot of horrible songs people have never even heard. Exactly. And you have to do bad ones to get to the good ones. Here's another one. This is kind of a reggae song. reggae I, rhythm with um, some trumpets and things. Then it had these sounds. Um, this part's kind of neat. Yeah. So that's like a tropical song. Yeah, that was an interesting song. The other song you played, um, was it you singing? Say again? Uh, did you sing on the other song? Yeah, I did, but I turned it down because I get embarrassed. I don't. When I sing, I like to sing, but it's like to sing in the car, and then. But I mean, would you would you would you like to be a singer of a band? I would, but I can't sing. I, I don't think uh, I sound like Ernie Ernie and Bert or something. No, I don't sound like a. I remember you you sang on Paulina, right? Yeah, that wasn't really singing though. It's just like the sky on there. That's that is a funny song. Thank you. Did you write the lyrics? Yeah, we we a couple of us wrote them, but I wrote most of them. So who was Paulina? Was that like a real person? Yeah, she's a model, supermodel from Germany, I think. Oh, did you hear the song? Paulina Portcanova. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if she's heard it. <laughs> you got to send it to her. <laughs> huh? You, you need to send it to her. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so she's very pretty. She's very pretty, yeah. Okay. That was from 10 years ago, but she's still pretty. But I think she married um, the guy from Maca The Cars. Oh, really? Do you know them? Yes, I know Cars. Yeah. Uh, but I can't think of any songs with them right now. No. Um, uh, bom, bom, bom. The Cars. The Cars. Yeah, The Cars. The Cars. 
So, did you get enough information, you think, for the interview? Uh, let me see here. I think I had, um... Could you please leave us with a message to all your fans all over the world? Um, do well and doubt not. Uh, that's all I can, I think, would be the best thing to put. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for granting, granting us this exclusive interview. And good luck with your artwork. Thank you very much.